Hi, this is Jun. Hope you're doing well today. Last time I talked about the topic of self-awareness and how by using strategies like reflection that you can develop a better sense of self-awareness and become a better version of yourself. What is reflection? Reflection is intentionally looking at yourself, what your thoughts are, what your feelings were, perhaps in a given situation. And by having that better self-awareness of yourself, that self-knowledge effectively, you can do th and say things in a better way than before. What does reflection involve? I mentioned before one could try you know, sitting down in a quiet space and reflecting on your well, answering certain questions about yourself. What was I feeling yesterday? What was I thinking at a certain point recently? How did I then behave or what did I say as a result of it? What did I learn from that experience? So these are self-reflection, uh, ways of self-reflection. It's quite challenging perhaps to uh, to stand in, well, basically to reflect and look at yourself and scrutinize yourself, examine yourself in that way, particularly if you haven't had much practice. It's rather like sort of standing in front of a mirror and really looking hard at yourself. Not at the, just the face that you see, but the person behind that face, the real you, which not many people get to see, that just you see. However, sometimes there are certain barriers that we hold up for ourselves. There may be places that, or thoughts, memories that we don't want to go to, but they're still a part of you. However, for your continued growth, it may be helpful to actually confront those parts that you've never, well, you haven't seen much of, or you perhaps would not feel so comfortable in, in facing. It's a bit like you almost need someone to hold up that mirror, maybe to, so you can see the back of your head. Metaphorically speaking, I might say. It's a bit like, um, you know, when you see that side of you that you don't see normally in everyday life, that then you'll be able to make a, a better decision as to what you then do with that different perspective of yourself, and maybe a more holistic, uh, more wholesome approach of yourself. Sometimes we can try to speak with a close friend or a family member or even a colleague uh, that, who we're close to and, and ask them to reflect back to us on, on their thoughts or their perceptions of us. However, maybe sometimes in terms of this type of work, it's best to have that conversation with someone who's completely independent of you, your social circle, someone who's still invested in your success, in your development, in your growth. Now, who that's, that person could be? Well, I would suggest it's a coach, a coach who would be listening very attentively, very uh, present and listening, looking at what your answers are. What is it that you're not saying? What's left unsaid? What excuses are you implicitly given and only a coach can do that because they are there with you in real time holding up that mirror so to speak as you're there and asking you questions that no one else would be able to come up with at that time and these are all intended to help you to grow i therefore suggest that you find a coach and if you want to help want to sort of develop your own self-awareness. If you want to continue the conversation, then please feel free to reach out to me. My contact details are in the description notes with the video. I wish you a wonderful day.